What is up, y'all? Uh, welcome back. Just wanted to have a talk on um, sleeves uh, for this time. Uh, I want to talk about sleeves <laughs> in flesh and blood and uh, sleeves that I have personally been collecting. Uh, I don't have too high or too big of a collection, but it has been something that I have been kind of... Um, discovering in a sense of flesh and blood quality of sleeves. Uh, I meant to do a recording on this um, several days ago, but uh, my phone overheated and it stopped mid-recording and I was pretty <laughs> trying to use some set new settings and not all that, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I have a couple sleeves that I got from um, different, uh, different events. So I got these uh, Oldham and Chain sleeves uh, from uh, Tournament of Judges, which is an online tournament uh, held by Tavern Brawlers. Uh, and they gave out random sleeves uh, for giveaways and such. And so had these in my collection. And uh, yeah, I, I like, I've seen in several content creators' videos, like Tall Timmy and such, um, they had these sleeves in the back. And I found that the sleeves by Flesh and Blood are really high quality. I was um, using some Dragon Shield sleeves that were like pink matte and such um, at a local game store up in Dallas. And uh, yeah, they were pretty bad. They kind of tore and were very flimsy. And uh, I could tell that when I shuffled them, they would get dings on it. But when I uh, used these uh, art sleeves uh, by Flesh and Blood, I found with a Phi one... Prism, Oldham, etc. They're all very high quality. I feel like I could shuffle them for quite a while. And uh, yeah, you get the initial shuffle where it's not as... Uh, it kind of like slides in between and such. But I found the sleeves to have very high quality. And uh, yeah, I don't really plan to buy sleeves that don't have... Actually, I have it right here. It's the pink diamond mat. These are the ones that <laughs> broke on me. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I keep, I always keep the boxes of the sleeves that I use just to store boxes. I have like, I do have deck cases and such, um, and other ways to store cards. But when I first started off, I used the deck, the sleeve boxes to carry my decks. But all this side, I find uh, Flesh and Blood's um, sleeve quality to be very high, and uh, yeah. Um, after I got, um, I got several of these sleeves, uh, from the Tournament Judges, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just have them out for my collection, and, uh, it kind of got me into starting to collect more, and, uh, even just kind of have mine out for display, so, uh, actually the reason this video came out was because, um, because these were damaged, I had to order some new ones, I got, went to customer service, got some credit, and then, uh, I went and ordered... Some of these Kyloria sleeves, and uh, I don't know if I plan to open these though. These are not a bad price, I think it's like $16.99 online at Dragon Shield. Not sponsored at all, um, but yeah, uh, I remember when I saw some of the art sleeves for Tamai or some of them that are just given out for judge promos, uh, very unique. But there are some of them that you can go on um, after events uh, like Ovia and. Um, Maybe Asvali? It could be Asvali. They have <clears throat> they have those sleeves on for sale on Dragon Shield. In fact, you can buy others like the Emperor, uh, which I think was given out at the Las Vegas um, event uh, last year. Uh, you can buy the Emperor sleeves for a good price online if you want to add the Emperor to your collection. But all to say, um, yeah, I've been sh slowly kind of expanding my collection of art sleeves actually this one is uh the rudy sleeves uh, i bought the rudy um kit and then i got these sleeves that came along with it uh pretty nice i mean i think it's like what 60 dollars on the market or something like that maybe it's like 40 but some of these art sleeves go for a really high price and uh yeah i really don't see a point in um i don't know opening it uh, when I can have it displayed by itself sealed. I know this one's a little bit um, kind of open there, but I'm not going to sell it. So it's 
going to be there just for the just for show and such. Um, and then, yeah, got this one, the tunic sleeves. Uh, one of my friends, she went and she got um, the tunic sleeves, I think three of them. And uh, she gave me one, uh, so really appreciate that. So, and as all to say, um, going back to the main points, I find Flesh and Blood's art sleeves to be really, really high quality. I find them to be very collectible, you know, very easy, cheap price, you know, uh, and pretty good for display. Um, and yeah, I do recognize that, um, yeah, not everyone, uh, you know, collects all the stuff for display, but I find that this to be a really nice, uh, portion for display collection, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys, uh, have Flesh and Blood, uh, sleeves that you keep and collect, um, let me know, you know, that there's a whole bunch of sleeves out there that people use to play, they keep religiously to use, uh, I know people who use the heart sleeves, um, that's all they use and such, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.